it's um, Tuesday. Um, 20th of April 2021. And it's about half past eight. 20 past eight. So yesterday I had a migraine and then I had my vaccine. So I'm feeling a little bit... I had um, like cold shivers during the night. So I was just lying there like this, ooh, shaking like crazy. Um, that's gone off. I just feel tired, really tired and uh, um, achy and headachy and stuff. So I've taken some paracetamol, I'm trying to drink lots of water. And I'm just going to plod today, get through the day. It's gorgeous again. Really lovely blue sky. So um, let's hope that it's nice and steady in the shop. I've got all that stock to work through. So um, I've got enough to keep me busy. And I've still got more to show you, but I need to put away the stuff that I got out yesterday first. So we'll see whether I get a chance to show you that today or tomorrow. Um... Oh yeah, I was thinking back to, um, I watched Shelley cut all her hair off the other day and uh, years and years ago, I don't know how long ago it was, but the kids were still at junior school, primary school and uh, I went from sort of this length to really short pixie cut. If I can find a picture, I'll put it in. Um, and uh, the kids hated it. I picked them up from school. Um, my eldest just walked past me, didn't even recognise me. Um, and my daughter cried. <laughs> I think she was probably about five, something like that. Yeah, she just cried. It didn't go down too well. I didn't keep it short for long. Uh, it's just it grows too quick and you have to keep going again. It cut all the time. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm going to put a little bit more makeup on and then take Jenny out. It's about quarter to ten and I've opened the shop. Um, feeling a bit ropey actually, just a bit weird, a bit dizzy, a bit weak, a bit, but I think that's just the vaccine. Um, I need, I wanted to show you some more stuff that I got from the car boot but before I do that I need to price up and get that stuff out. So I'm going to work on getting that lot out because it's all dumped on my desk, the stuff that I showed you yesterday. And then if I get time, I'll get some more stuff out and show you. Right, so I've spent the morning pricing up all the stuff that I showed you yesterday and getting that out. Really pleased with it. Thought I'd show you the rest of the stuff that I got. Uh, it's a random collection. <laughs> so I got a pewter tankard glass bottom with a dragon on it. I mean, these pewter tankards, I wouldn't... Um, I got interrupted. I think I was showing you this pewter tankard. Now, pewter tankards I only sell for three or four quid, but the one with the dragon on I have sold before for a little bit more, so I picked that up because it was only 50p or something. Um, so many good things to show you. <laughs> a little three wise monkey wooden carving. Um, some lovely vintage Pyrex dishes. I don't have lids for them, unfortunately, but still, just as they are, they should be all right. And this one, so I got those three. Put those back. I've not checked prices of these at all yet. Um, I've got some really nice salt and pepper pots. They are Carlton ware. So I'm pleased with those. A nice Sadler teapot. It's a little bit stained and a bit of crazing on the inside, so I won't sell it for loads, but still a nice thing. Gorgeous little treacle glaze hedgehog pot. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Love it. I got some other hedgehogs. Unfortunately, one got damaged. I don't think it was damaged when I picked it out. So two little stone hedgehogs. And the third one, it's got a chipped ear. I think that must have happened in transit. It's a shame. Um, I got this onion pot. 
I've had this one before. I think I've sold it now. <clears throat> but I've had that one. But I also got a nice applesauce one. I really like this because he's got like pixie ears. Applesauce. And that's bassware. I've not heard of bassware before. But really like that. Normally those sort of pots only sell for sort of eight, ten pounds, but if they're a bit more unusual, they might go for a bit more. So I need to check. And the cucumber one. Please with that. I'm going through these quickly before anybody else comes in. Uh, a lovely turquoise blue glass vase. I have, you can probably see it just there, a green one. The same design, the same style, but this one's a nicer colour, I think. Bluey green. I also got some, a little set, I mean, it's a bit dirty and it needs sorting out, some cake forks in a case, um, which always go well, and some, can you see that? Some butter knives with the green handles, love those, they sell well as well. A gorgeous lacquered box, again, I'm tempted to keep this one. That gorgeous because often the gold's all faded or chipped or whatever, but this one's in really good condition. Really love that. Might well keep that one. Um, a jewelry box. I'm not really that fussed about this to be honest. You know, sometimes you just pick things up just because you can. Um, but somebody might like that. Right. We're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. Nearly all done. Let's put these things back. Um, stoneware jar with lid. What else? Oh, uh, some Bezic. So I've got a Bezic black bull. And then I got these three Bezic figures. There's this one. He's called the Frenchman. I got this one. He's called Infamous Grouse. Be really careful that I don't break these. And this one, which is called the Veteran. I like those. So I'll add those to my collection. What else haven't I shown you yet? Oh, I love this. Um I don't know, do you think that's a tea caddy? It's really pretty. I'm assuming it's silver plated. It says Sheffield on the bottom, something Brig and Co maybe. Um, but yeah, gorgeous. It's a really unusual shape. Love that. Um, I did buy, oh, this. Copper box. Just loved the pattern on the top. She said it was a, a vintage Turkish delight box and a tin but that's gorgeous again tempted to keep that one for myself then i did buy some jewelry um i bought a couple of, like earrings there i'm trying to buy jewelry that's just boxed because i find that other sorts of jewelry don't tend to sell that well for me so i'm just buying some nice gifty kind of things there's some silver look like opals but i'm not sure if they are earrings and then there was a chap who was selling these and they're new um but all boxed but i thought i would try them so they're very similar that's that one those those it's again i'm tempted to keep a pair for myself get these priced up and out those I like a lot. They've got the um, tiger's eye there in them. Mm, they might be mine. And finally, those. I can't remember where he said he got them from, but he's, he had some more. I've got his phone number. We'll see. Um, gorgeous studio pottery bowl. Beautiful colour, isn't it? That bluey green colour. Drip glaze all the way around. Anything else? Some little brass figures, a little brass spaniel and a little brass elephant. And this 
Now, does anybody know who this Indian god is? I've got one already and I don't think I worked out who it was yet. Um, yeah, I need to look into that a bit more. And finally, I think this is finally, this little imp, can you see him? But he's still got his box that he came in, look. So that, I think, is everything. I'm really pleased with that. It's a few pieces that I think I might be keeping. Very quiet in the shop today, but I've been keeping busy because I've got all this stock to price out. I decided that I think my favourite item that I bought was the, what I think is a tea caddy. Silver plate tea caddy. I think it's lovely. I'll, uh, what's going on with my hair? <laughs> I'll stick a picture in. Um, yeah, I think that's my favourite. Although I've kept the boxes and the paper mache ones, so maybe those two. Right, I'm going to round up this vlog so I can edit it and get it up. I hope you're all enjoying the sunshine. Gorgeous days. It's not even that cold in the shop. Look, no cardigan, no jumper or anything. <laughs> or maybe my temperature's up because I had my vaccine. I don't know. <laughs> Anyhow, take care. Mm -hmm.